Welcome. This is a brief introduction to Prevail Security Analytics, a revolutionary big data security analytics platform and the world's first cloud-based big data security analytics platform. There are a number of deployment options, including a fully on-premise solution. First thing you'll notice is the simple and intuitive user interface. It consists of the main visualization where all the analysis is performed, the mini visualization that maintains an overall timeline of the entire data set, and the summary panels that give a more detailed view of the threat statistics in the data set. Full packet captures are used as the big data source, and these can be historical packet captures uploaded from anywhere on the network, or a real-time feed taken from a collector appliance. Packet captures are added to capture points, which are a cumulative view of the security information for a given point in the network. Uploading packet captures is secure and as simple as selecting a capture point, adding a packet capture, and submitting it. Once the packet capture has been uploaded and processed, it's available for analysis in the main visualization. The first thing you'll notice is the packet and attack totals, and the time period for the selected data set. There is also a strong emphasis on using powerful visualizations to explore and understand the attack data. This is achieved using the zoom and pan functions in the main visualization. By simply moving the mouse thumb wheel up or down, the analyst can seamlessly zoom in from a view of years or months of data to minutes. From here, the analyst can also pan backward or forward in time by simply holding the mouse button down and moving the mouse left or right. There are other ways of selecting time parameters, such as using the calendar function to select specific date ranges, or to use the preset period views. The concept of periods is very important, as the mini visualization can be used to review the periods prior to or immediately after the current period selected. It's also important to note that as the focus changes in the main visualization, the packet and attack totals change in real time to match the period that the main visualization now spans. The same concept applies to the summary panels below, and you can see this change as you zoom or pan the main visualization. The summary views provide a more detailed analysis of the attack statistics, and the available summary panels will change based on how you are viewing the data. Two key features to point out in the summary panels are the concepts of the averages and the attack types. There are two averages. My average is a comparison of the period you are viewing in the current data set against the equivalent periods across all of your other data sets. The global average is a comparison of the period you are viewing in the current data set against the equivalent periods across all other customer data sets we are storing. As this is a statistical comparison, it's totally anonymous and a great way of determining if you are overly targeted. The second feature of note is the attack types. This includes the new attack type, which is a novel attack where you have never seen the attack type or attacking source in this data set previously. The looped attack count is an attack that is detected by replaying existing stored packet captures through the platform every time the detection capability is updated. Zero day exploits may have already occurred in the data set, but by replaying them constantly we can eventually determine when a specific zero day may have occurred and allow the analyst to construct a full forensic view of the traffic prior and subsequent to the exploit. Both of these features are unique to prevail security analytics. When analyzing attack data, the analyst can view the data from different perspectives. The initial view is the threat overview, which shows the total number of attacks by severity. The data can also be viewed from the perspective of the source address or attacker. The destination address or target. Or by attack or location of attack. Alternatively, additional statistics can be overlaid on the main visualization data. To quickly refine the search and isolate attack specifics, there are two filtering and searching methods. The search function allows the current view of the data set to be filtered by entering keywords such as IP addresses, locations such as countries, or AS numbers. The advanced filter provides a linked view of the key data from the current main visualization and allows the analyst to quickly refine the filter by selecting key attributes to focus on while the filter updates this view in real time. Finally, once a particular attack has been identified, you'll want to confirm the exact details of everything that took place during the attack. The analysis feature lets the analyst examine the attack in the context of the entire conversation, 
allowing the detailed analysis of the attack frame by frame and down into the key protocol attributes. That concludes this brief introduction into Prevail Security Analytics, and now you have seen how it can help you quickly explore and understand your data to provide clear intelligence to your network. Thanks for watching.